<clears throat> all right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise on and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Kodash. The Bible the Apostles, the Great Millstone, were teaching us the most and truthful according to the Bible rule well. And peace and blessings so like the nation of Israel, take their spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, I'm going to get into the Lord's willing edifying lesson on the so, you so called, you know, the Israelites, according to the Bible, you know, what we should be doing in these last days, you know, is seeking Yahweh by Shema Shai, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the name of His only begotten Son. And the Israelites today, according to the Holy Bible, you know, the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And the Israelites scattered across the four corners of the earth, you know, via, you know, the curses that will befall us because of our disobedience, you know, whose seed line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. This is Isaiah 55 and 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. So this is a call to our people, you know, to seek Yahweh by Shema Shai. Search out the things, you know, that please the Lord and perform them. You see, why he may be found, because right now, you know, we've been given grace. We've been given this grace period where the Lord will show us great mercy, you know, and offer us, you know, a way back, you know, to walk on the path of righteousness. You see, before all hell would break loose in Babylon the Great, according to the Holy Scriptures, which is America. You see, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. You see, and how, how do you seek him? With the Lord, you know, Yahweh by Shema Shai. You know, let's get a precept on that. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 3. And I'm going to start at verse uh, 12. It says, I'm going to start at verse uh, 14, Slaki. It says, Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shai. You see, the Lord is telling us to, to turn, meaning to repent, to turn back. Because we have backslided. We have went away from serving our power. You see? Save the Lord, for I am married unto you. You see? And I will take you, one of a city, and two of a family, and bring you to Zion. You see? So even though this word is going forth, you know, for our people to repent, you know, a very small remnant of our people are going to hearken. Only a small remnant of them are going to return and repent and seek Yahweh by Shema Shai during this grace period that's been granted unto us. And how would they seek the Lord? And I will give you pastors according to my heart. You see, pastors, spiritual guides, you see, to guide us, you know, upon this path, a priest. And what were the duty of a priest to uh, 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 to to teach our people the ways of Yah by Shema Shai? Let's get to. Uh, and I'll give you pastors. It says um, to feed, to graze, to tend, to shepherd, to a ruler, of teacher, of people as a flock, a herdsman, a shepherd. So Yah by Shema Shai. He, he set up leaders, you know, uh, uh, which will have his words and they will set up to teach the people. You see, Jeremiah 3 and 15, and I will give you pastors according to my heart. And was it and we shall feed you? You see, the pastors have to look after the sheep, guide the sheep, and they have to feed the sheep. And where are they going to feed the sheep? We shall feed you. With knowledge and understanding, with the knowledge and understanding about the ways, you know, that are pleasing, you know, to Yahweh by Shema Shai. Let's get this. this. is Amos 5 and 4. For thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Shema Shai, unto the house of Israel, seek ye me, and ye shall live. Seek Yahweh by Shema Shai, you see, and ye shall live. This is the life. This is true life. You know, this is how life was intended for us to live, you know, by following the ways of Yahweh by Shema Shai. You see, this is uh, Jeremiah, I mean, sorry, Amos 5, you know, jumping down a little bit. 
and 13. It says, Therefore, the prudent shall keep silence in that time, for it is an evil time. And what's that talking about? That's talking about when this grace period is up. You know, Yah by Shema Shai is going to cause the prudent to keep silence. You know, that we, w- that we shall no more be a reprover to our people. The time of mercy and grace is now. You see, but after the grace period is up, you see, wrath and indignation from Yah by Shema Shai is going to be pour, pour out upon uh, uh, the disobedient, upon the non-believers. Verse 14, seek good and not evil so we should be seeking or we should be pursuing after that which is good after that which is righteous after that which is true you see and not the evil of this world you see the wickedness that this world promotes that ye may live because at the end of the day a judgment is coming you see Yahweh Shema Shai is coming back to bring judgment to the world and so the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, the God of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken. See, Yahweh Shema Shai is going to be with us during these evil times. You see, as long as you, you know, take this time out to seek him, you see, and to get on his good side. Verse 15, hate the evil and love the good. You see, that's why we despise, we hate this world because Yahweh by Shema Shai has commanded us to hate this world. And, and what's the good, the, the, uh, the kingdom of heaven, you see, which we are hoping, you see, to receive that. We believe it, you know, and our hope is to inherit an everlasting kingdom. You see, were we, Lord's will, the 144, you know, Israel in its proper order, you see, will be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. You see, it says, and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. And that's what the leaders of Yahweh Shema Shai are doing. We're establishing judgment in the gate. The gate, you know, I don't want to go too off topic, but the gates represents, you know, where the leaders will set up. You know, this is um, Deuteronomy 16. In 18, judges and officers shall thou make in all thy gates, which the Lord thy God giveth thee throughout thy tribes, and they shall judge the people with just judgment. You see, so Yahweh Shema Shai has set up his, uh, 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 his leaders <laughs> who were set up to uh, uh, judge, just judgment. Ju- you see? To set up to guide the people you see it in in the gates where where israel will be going in and out of the city this is amos 5 and 15 again it says hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate it may be the god it may be the the lord yahweh shema shai god of hosts will be uh uh it says will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. You see, and only the remnant of Yah by Shema Shai, the elect, are going to return. You see, and we have to have the mindset as the elect, you see, of, of seeking Yah by Shema Shai. You know, tearing, not tearing to seek the Lord because, you know, the days are evil. This is Hosea 10 and 12. It says, Sow to yourself in righteousness, reap in mercy. So our actions, you know, what we're doing down here upon the earth, you know, is likened for sowing. And our actions must be filled with acts of righteousness. Sow to yourself in righteousness, reap in mercy. You see, you, you, you're going to reap, you know, your 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 reward for your labor you know is uh going to be mercy which we need the mercy of Yah by Shema Shai you know this um just want to get this untealed this fallow ground not prepared and cultivated for crops you see so it says 
Hosea 10 and 12, it says, So to yourself in righteousness, reap in mercy, break up your fallow ground. You know, ultimately, your fallow ground is your mind. You know, before you can cultivate, you know, or, you know, plant seed in the earth, you have to break up the ground. You know, the, this truth is breaking down, you know, all the lies that we've been taught, you see, and it's building us back up again. It's, we're being built back, you know, stronger than ever, you know. Try not to use the slogan of the devil, right? Build back better. It says, for it is time to seek the Lord. Now is the time, you know, for us, you know, to seek Yahweh by Shema Shai. This is the allotted time for us to seek him. So we cannot take this, uh, uh, this period of grace for granted. It says, till he come and rain righteousness upon you. You see? Let me see what that says in the NLT. It says that he may come and shower righteousness upon you. You know, that's this truth, you know, reigning in the earth, you know, and we must, you know, you know, take this early rain <laughs> that's, uh, you know, and Lord's willing we grow, you know, Lord's willing to continue to grow. We got, we got to grow, you see, constantly overcoming our temptation, overcoming you know, the mental battles that we go through, overcoming it all, you see? It says, ye have plowed, uh, I'm going to read it in MLT, it says, but ye, but you have cultivated wickedness and harvest a th thriving crop of sin. You see, and that's why our people are sowing in the earth. They're sowing sin. And what's reaping in their fields, you know, uh, 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 uh. You know, it's, it's the works of sin. It's the reward for sin, which is ultimately going to be death. Our people's minds have been corrupted. You see, as, as a field that no man traveled through, he says, you have eaten the fruit of lies. You're trusting in a, a military might behaving that believing that great army could, could make your nation's safe. Mm. You see? Not knowing that it's Yahweh Shema Shai and his power and his might that, that allows a hedge of protection to be around us. You see? Let's get one more scripture and we'll close it out. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth while the evil days come not. You see, before the evil days come, is when we're supposed to be remembering Yahweh by Shema Shai. Nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Yeah, because uh, the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. These things that you find pleasure in in America with Yahweh by Shema Shai is going to bring holy hell to you. He's going to take the joy and mirth uh, uh from from you that you have in these things you see we should be uh, uh as israelites you know praising yahweh by shema washai and having joy in his word coming to pass and him sending forth righteous judgment in the earth you see but you know ultimately that was the lesson you know i just want to get into the lord's willing edifying lesson on seeking yahweh by shema washai you know, uh, just want to put some up, you know, in the airwaves. Lord's one, uh, that was edifying. I'm going to say shallow one.